everyone, this is Patch down at the Free Science Workshop. Things have been weirdly calm around here lately, though I do miss being the star of so many selfies. In case you didn't notice, I'm a ball python. Though some people find me a little intimidating, it can be reassuring to remind them that the reason I'm called a ball python is because when I feel afraid, I would much rather curl up in a scared little ball than try to bite anything. Besides, I'm not even venomous. I just like to give my food a little squeeze before I swallow it whole. After all, it is hard to chew when your teeth look more like Velcro than vampire fangs. I spend most of my time literally hanging out in my sweet custom enclosure, thanks to the participants at the Free Science Workshop that put together the coolest snake habitat I've ever seen. It's even got a larger-than-life sculpture of yours truly that marched in the Ithaca Parade last year. I would have to say that my favorite part is hanging out in my snake hammock, overlooking all the beautiful chaos that happens around me. In captivity, ball pythons can live on average of 20 years, and in special cases, even older than 40. Though I do shed my skin every month or two, so I should be looking shiny and new by the time we see each other again. Next time we do get a chance to hang out, take a closer look at my scales. You might notice that the ones on top are thicker to protect me from predators that might be coming from up top, and the ones on my belly are softer and smoother, ready to feel the ground beneath me as I slither around. If you look really closely, and promise to be gentle, you might even notice my pelvic spurs. Some evolutionary leftovers that look a little bit like claws or spikes. But don't worry, they won't hurt anyone. Looking back at my time in the workshop so far, I'd say life is pretty great for a snake. Lots of places to explore, lots of people to sniff with my tongue, and all kinds of kleptothermy, aka taking your body heat to use as my own. From all of us here at the Free Science Workshop, stay safe, stay curious, and wash your hands, if you have any.